If you're going to transform a brand or a product, an old saying is that you can't do things just the same way. You know, innovations are not called disruptive for nothing. Understand that what's happened in the past isn't going to be what happens in the future. I believe AI is one of the most important tools we are going to ever create. It's remarkable how quickly people adopt a change. And intelligence drives manufacturing. You have to invest in continuously staying up to speed with what's happening through technology and in the parallel spaces. It's all about improving our knowledge of how to manipulate atoms and molecules. The IEA's forecast is actually for linear growth. It projects that every year the world will install the same amount of solar as before, when in fact every year the amount we install has gone up by 35 or 40 percent. Change comes faster than we think. We go from this period where a new technology looks like a toy, a plaything, it'll never work, to suddenly this era of amazement. And what you're seeing in this video is really cool. It's a convergence of a lot of the technologies you're learning about here today, of virtual reality, AI, and robotics. We're flipping innovation from being something that is important to something that is urgent. In the production land, that means we're gonna take out the prototyping step, to go directly from design, iterative, agile design, to end use parts. And that truly is what we consider the future of manufacturing. Exponential technology is a formidable beast at best. And to put it in the hands of the right people who have the right ideas and the right philosophies towards bettering the world is incredibly important. It's actually because you can have both, right? You can get paid for saving our planet. If you think about it, Industrial sector is a huge part of the world's economy, right? Making this sector more optimized, more efficient, is actually a great way to bring us closer to that abundant and sustainable future. I think that's a mission that we should all strive towards. It's good to be here and understand how, what are the ideas that people have uh, to create synergies between human and, and machines and human and computers rather than just replacing humans. Certainly when it comes to the millennials, you know, that who look at some various jobs, the repetitive mundane portions are very unattractive. And you can imagine people doing this task, they last about 20 minutes before their error rate goes through the roof. This is the thing. We need those machines to come and take every menial, repetitive, dangerous job. Everything a robot can do better than a human, it should and it's going to. But we have new opportunities. Right. It creates and opens up the door to the jobs we haven't thought about yet. The exponential conferences serve to blow people's mind over the course of two or three days. Uh, definitely Ray yesterday blew my mind. A three-story office building was snapped together in three days recently in Asia. It's kind of an experiment, but that will be a mainstream manufacturing technology for buildings and houses, again, in the 2020s, uh, that will revolutionize manufacturing. This is one of the life-changing experiences for me. Manufacturing is a natural fit for what we do at Singularity University. Love seeing all these innovative minds and entrepreneurs who are working on solving those problems and thinking about what's next. When people ask me, what should my kids study or what should I study, it's less that you should study a particular technology, and for me, it's more important that you become an expert in the problem space. What we need to be teaching people is how to learn, and how to allow learning to happen real time all the time. And that's really what we're talking to manufacturers about today. There's a really easy way to shake up your thinking, and that is to talk to other people, listen to other voices, people that aren't traditionally at your table. The accessibility of everyone at this conference has been absolutely outstanding. Everyone is very approachable, willing to trade ideas. The energy level has been incredible, from the presenters to the attendees. So that's been really amazing. I've enjoyed literally every single talk I've, I've been a witness of. People who choose to be here um, have a mindset that they know something is coming, they don't know what it is, and they want to learn. And, and that's an extraordinary group of people that you just don't get to meet every day. So the events totally matched my expectations, it was great. What I really like is about the, the optimism and the, the, the bright future that we can build ahead. If our manufacturers are fast enough in implementing these new technologies, we could live in a much better world. So Ray, I think we're going to wrap it up there. I want to thank you so much for your time today and for your insight. It's really a great pleasure and honor to have you here. Yes. Thank you.
over the next couple of decades, we're going to figure out what it truly means to be human.